Hey guys, welcome to Mountain Prepper. This is our first video, so if you're watching this, don't go hunting around for other videos. This is our first. On this channel, we like to do camping, surviving, and gear reviews. Today, today we will be reviewing my Van Gogh Sherpa 70 to 80 liters, and this it should be a series, a three-part series of all my different backpacks we've got. There is, in fact, an Army Bergen over there behind me, and another backpack a bit like this but not as good so starting starting from the bottom we have a rain cover this rain cover is going to be really useful just throw it on over your pack and it's going to keep it nice and dry if it's raining and it is kept on by this strap right here so this is just going to keep it attached to your pack and we do have a little sign here in case you didn't notice there is a sign there saying rain cover so in case you ha didn't know that there was a rain cover there, you, do you now do. Then on the strap down by the side, this strap here, we have a little pocket, tiny, tiny pocket, but this is re really useful for just any maps, compasses, anything you need really, really quick access just while you're walking. You don't want to stop and get stuff out of your bag, you just want to keep on walking. So yeah, that's really useful. So here, oh. so here we have a. Uh, sorry for the pause there. Here we have a little, well, not a little, quite a, a very, very, well, quite a big compartment. And this compartment is for your sleeping bag. If you have one of them, then use it. They are incredibly useful for keeping the weight close to your back and low down. So that is incredibly, incredibly useful. Like I said, if you have one, use it. You may be noticing on this pack, on this sleeping bag compartment, it does say SA, which stands for self-adjust, and I will be telling you what that means, well, what self-adjust means later. But here we have little clips. These clips will go over your sleeping bag compartment just like so there is two of these and these will just clip on over your sleeping bag compartment and these are very very useful for holding your like mat your sleeping bag or mat or if you have a, like a foam mat or an inflatable inflatable one i personally use the inflatable one i have a thermo rest but you can use whatever you like so yeah and even though this is quite far out from your body mats like foam or inflatable mats are very very light so it doesn't matter it's not going to pull you down when you're walking and here you may see there's these two little loops you may be thinking oh these are for attaching stuff to to the bottom of your pack well you are wrong these are for holding poles so walking poles so you have this the two at the bottom and then you have these things here so these are gonna you're gonna press these, press these, pull the uh, string, uh, and then just fit your walking pole in like that. And there is two of these. There is another one just here. There's another one right there. So yeah, that's that. And then inside all of this sort of webbing stuff, we have another compartment. And this again, quick access. Just open it. Quick stop. Open it. And get whatever you need to get. So yeah, you can store really anything in here. It's really useful, quite big, probably a couple of litres in here. I'm not too sure, but yes, very, very useful. And now on the side here, we have two straps. You might see my paracord bracelet on there. Forgot to take that off. We have a pocket here, and there is a pocket as well on the other side of the same size. Same everything on the other side. So you just zip that up really useful and here we have the part that takes it from 70 litres to 80 litres so these are just like sort of compression straps so you can tighten this up this here tighten it up or loosen it to uh, make it the size that you need and then here we have another one at the bottom and again the same on the other side here got this this pocket uh, with these straps on as well 
So, heading to the top. Here we have a big pocket for your top and the top, this can be hold anything. Again, quick access, really useful. I personally have my medical first aid kit, medical kit in here with a bit of paracord on. And this paracord is just gonna clip onto this clip right here. So this is inside of the, this compartment. And if I need to just get it out, put a plaster on or whatever, and then I forget it, I leave it somewhere, I haven't lost it because it is still in my pack. It's still attached to the pack. So, let's zoom out for you a bit so you can see here. Here we have the clips, these, these clip onto the top. Uh, and this is to open the top compartment, get into the main compartment and this little compartment here that you are seeing. So this compartment is a bit like the one on the top. It's just, again, quick, any small things. It doesn't have that clip on it that this one here does. Remember this clip here? But it's still incredibly useful. Now, getting onto the main pack. So here, right here, we have a slot for your bladder, your water bladder. Uh, and it does say H2O here. H2O right there. And that is the same on the other side. And this is just put your put the water bladder through there, and then you can just feed it round and use it while you drink while you're walking. But in here, this is where the main part, main compartment is. In here, you've got you're gonna want your tent. Sorry, if you can't see that there. So in here, you're gonna have your tent, clothes, uh, any sort of any sort of uh, cooking stuff anything like that, gas, anything, uh, you're going to store inside of here. It's really useful. This makes up most of the pack, pack litres. So that's an incredibly, incredibly good size main compartment. Uh, and here again we have this, this is just some uh, sort of compression ropes. I don't know the exact term for these. Just, just here, just these things here. So this is just going to press them together and then you're gonna make your pack waterproof and tighter. There's another one. So we have, I'll show you these. So we have one just here uh, and another one just above it right here. Sorry if there's any background noises, my stupid brother. Uh, so, and again, there's another compression item, you could say. Uh, so we have this clip, this quite big clip, this is just going to clip onto this here. If you can see, uh, they're just going to clip together, keep it nice and small. And one thing I forgot to mention, down at the bottom here, on the sides, there is, on both sides, there's just these, these sort of pouches. These pouches are incredibly useful for holding any, like, if you have any gas, or if you have water, any any bottles of any sort, just going to hold them in there. So that's every compartment on the pack. Now I'll show you the other side. Oh, sorry, the camera's just fallen over there. So now I'm going to so show you the other side. Okay, so here we have the other side. This is where your straps are. So here you can see we've got the strap that goes over our shoulder, this shoulder strap. And then we've got chest strap. I don't know the exact terms for these. But yeah, this is just a uh, chest strap. Uh, and you can may see that there are two little lights here. I love to put these on. These are just really bright little lights for when you're walking in the dark. You can just see where you're going. So, and here we have all of this. Look at all this padding, all of this. This is really comfy, really good. Makes even a heavy load feel really nice and comfy. And then we have our straps here, uh, like lower hip straps. I don't, again, don't know the exact term, but really, really useful. And I won't go into too much detail about adjusting it because hopefully we'll get another video out about that. Uh, yeah, so this chest strap, again, this chest strap here, it can be adjusted. I'll show you how to do that in future videos. 
in a future vid video. Uh, and here on this side, on the top, again, adjusting something to adjust with. Uh, but like I said, I will go uh, into further detail with that in a future video. Just says, uh, hang on, just get this in shot for you. Says self adjust, self adjust there. S A. Oh, jeez. Let's get. Come on, let's get this in shot. Self adjust. Here we go. Uh, so this is how you're gonna adjust your pack, and I will show you how to do that in a future video. Uh, and it's just got these, these here. Let's get this in shot. Yeah. So that just says. A couple of letters, uh, numbers. Sorry, not letters. Uh, and this is how you're going to adjust your pack. Um, and it is a frame pack. It has got the frame here, as you can see. Just this. This is a frame here. Uh, and frame packs are good. They hold their shape. They're just really good. They, like you, you want to choose a frame pack over anything else. Uh, and you can access the frame. If you, oh, one, one second, camera's moved there. Right, you can access the frame if you if you go into the top compartment, uh, and you see this big yellow strap, this big orange strap. That's not how you access the frame. It's just like this. So here you see these sort of. These strap, this strap right here. Uh, yeah, so you're gonna unstrap this, and behind of all this is behind this is one part of the frame. So you just strap that back up. One part of the frame is there. Strap that back up, and it is the same on the other side, right? There, just here. Uh, so you can just unstrap it. Sorry if there's any creak, and it's just the light is moving around. So, and then you've got your frame just, just, just there. So, yeah, this is to conclude this video. I think this pack is really useful. I recommend it to anyone any load, anything, it's just a really good pack. Uh, so, yeah, this is my rev my review of the Van Gogh Sherpa 70 to 80 litres rucksack. And like I said at the start of the video, this will be part of a three part series. Uh, and we ha do have a Bergen, Army Bergen, just there. Uh, and another backpack, just there. We will, we will be reviewing all of this in future videos. So yes, hope you enjoyed it. This is my first ever video. So yeah, be nice to me. So yeah, thanks for watching and hope to see you next time. This is Mountain Prep.